Hey there YouTube, welcome back to another video. It's been a while. Um, today what I'm be uh, bringing you guys is a update of the caddy. I've done, I've done a few uh, things to it, I bought a few items. I just haven't had a chance to actually record me installing the items. Simply because I do it like really fast and I do it on the side of the road by my house. I don't have an actual garage to do it in but I'll just show you guys what I've done and I'll let you guys know how much I paid for the items and stuff like that if necessary um, this is like oh I'll just update you guys with what happened to me on Easter Sunday which was this very scary situation I'll let you guys know. I'll show you guys what happened. All right, guys. So here's a caddy. As you can see, I took the rear flares off after installing them. I realized they look kind of jank on there. I like just the flush fitment right here. Um. So I did take those off. In the front, the fenders are pretty shot so what i did i just riveted on the fender flares that i installed so you can see there's a lot of dents and stuff and then i just painted them color matched them you can't even tell from a distance that it has flares it just looks kind of cool and then also since the fenders are gonna go soon anyways when i actually get a real paint job not anytime soon of course it's kind of expensive but I got fender flares. I mean, I'm sorry, fender mirrors. They are actually functional. Let me show you guys. As you can see right there, when I'm backing up, I can actually see how far the curb is for me. And over here too, when, I'm, when I need to switch lanes, I can actually use it and look. Also, I installed this banner just right now, literally. Literally just now, it's kind of like bubbly still. The sun hasn't beat on it, but um, just a little ghetto. As you can see, I had a patch right there because I cut, I cut it too short. But I mean, this truck is half-assed the whole damn truck, so half-assing that won't hurt it. Uh, so here's the front front end right now, the way it looks. I'm really liking it. All the white really makes it pop. Um, I need to get new headlights. They're, they're zip tied right now because they're actually like falling apart. So then I'm, I'm gonna put a little bit of vinyl right here just to cover. Um, what else have I done to it? Oh, I got a new license plate uh, light from AutoZone. It's super bright at night. If you guys saw my previous video, the little edit that I made, you can see how bright that thing is. Um, what else have I done to it? Oh, back to the Easter Sunday story. So, I was off work that day, and. It was early in the morning, so I'm like, you know what? What, what can I do on Easter Sunday? But go, let's go for a drive, right? Let me turn the camera. So I'm like, let's go for a drive. So I'm, I'm in Southern California. There's this place called PV, Paul's Verdes. Very nice scenery, very rich community. Um, and there's a lot to see over there, like sightseeing wise. I'll, I'll put a, a few pictures here of what I went to go take you know pictures and stuff for the instagram page if you haven't followed me on instagram south bay caddy right here um so i went you know just to take a few pictures and you know enjoy the, the view and the drive and whatnot and so at the end of the pv route it's San Pedro, California. And on San Pedro, there's a freeway that takes me back home. So I hop on the freeway, you know, like, 
like everybody else, you know, trying to get home. I'm sorry if it's windy. It's kind of windy outside. But, um, I'm on the freeway for like five minutes already. You know, hitting a few dips. The suspension is pretty stiff. So I'm like, you know, I hit one specific dip. I felt like I blacked out, but this is what I, all I, all I freaking remember, my fucking hood flies fucking open, guys. It was unreal. I'm like this, I'm like this, you know, looking through the little mesh, trying to get out, like leaning low so I could see, trying to pull over to the far right so I could, you know, see, acknowledge the damage and see if I could close the hood down. I get out first, before I got out, I was like, fuck my life. Like, not my caddy. Like, come on, you know? Like, I fucking love this damn truck. So, immediately I thought my windshield was cracked and my roof was dented. That's what always happens every time that happens to any car. You're gonna break a windshield or a roof dent a roof or something like that, you know? So, I'll, I'll show you guys outside. So, I get out, right? On the side of the freeway, cars passing me, like, like right here, because there's, like, no emergency lane, kind of. And I see the hood freaking all the way back. First thing I do, try to pull it down. And it's stuck, like on the windshield wipers. I took the windshield wipers off, but the windshield wipers were right here. They got, the hood was stuck on there. The, what got bented, what got, well, the main damage that happened was the hinges that are inside right here, under, were shot. Like when I say shot, like they look like, they're supposed to be straight, right? They were like this. Those things took the damage. Also, right here, I did a half-ass bondo job, guys. Right here, look. <laughs> Small dent right here. Kind of just filled it up, just so I could, you know. And then I just, and then also right here. Small dent right there. Bondoed, painted. That's the beauty of having a rattle can paint job touch it up however you want same here right here was a big a little bit more damage you can see the bondo job but i mean from 20 feet away you can't tell you know what i'm saying rattle can over it and then done deal right as you can see a rattle can right there like you see that see the difference in the paint yep rattle can paint job guys from a distance you cannot tell but long story short I already had issues with that hood. Pretty much when I unlock it over here. Well, right now I have a bungee, bungee cord kind of holding it as a secondary emergency plan. But look, when I do this, usually the hood would have just, you know, opened. Like, nothing was holding it. Now, I went to the junkyard on Tuesday or Wednesday, one of those days. And I found the latch. This latch is still, this right here, I believe this is missing a piece. Right here. Watch, where is it? Um, this is missing some sort of piece, right? Right there. But I found this right here. This little hook. Little hook. My old latch, when the hood opened, didn't have that. So nothing was holding it from, you know, flapping up. <sighs> but I trusted it because I drove the damn truck like that since I got it. So that, that's taken care of now. Um, luckily nothing really happened. Like the hood still survived, even though it got a little dented. The damn uh, windshield didn't break, luckily. And the roof didn't get dented. So that was a win-win for me, guys, and it taught me a lesson. Um, what else have I done? Oh, the cup holder. Let me show you guys. So I installed this cup holder here. Right where I wanted it, guys. This cup holder is off a shopping cart. Go to your local shopping cart junkyard and take one off it's literally look check it out it's literally it goes on the shopping cart right there so you can put your drink when you're shopping 
But, and then the fu here's the funny part. Let me show you guys. So here's a cup holder, right? I added this diesel only sticker. <clears throat> when you flip it over to see the brand, the company that makes it, check it out. Caddyproducts.com. Isn't that hilarious? That's too funny, guys. So here's how I install it. Let's put it on. There we go. I don't have a glove compartment. I you could put this anywhere, literally. Like with this right here, I could probably put it right here if I wanted to on the door card. But I don't want it right there. It's perfect right there. Perfect. Um other than that, guys, I don't see anything else that I've done. The truck's running great. I really want to do a timing belt on it. Just to prevent any, you know. Preventative maintenance, pretty much. I've been getting great gas, my uh, diesel mileage. Yesterday, I pumped fifty-six dollars, fourteen gallons of diesel, and that, the last time I had pumped was a month and a half ago. And I drive it like every day, literally. And a month and a half of no pumping. Isn't that amazing, guys? Get yourselves a Caddy diesel, guys. Um. I'm working on getting this some gauges right here. Uh, I need help. If you guys if you guys know how I can make this gauge work, the temperature gauge, help me out, guys, because it's not working. It's never worked since I bought it. So you know, there's the, I'm just assuming the truck's not overheating. Never left me stranded, so I'm just assuming. And then the beauty of this cup holder is it actually could fit any size drink. Your large Coke your large whatever um i'm really loving the mirrors if you guys haven't f figured it out just yet and then i have a few I have a little bit of leftover leftover vinyl right there in that bag oh the vinyl was uh like it was like 17 bucks shipped from amazon i'm gonna just put a little bit like a little bit like little squares like like little circles just to pass those holes with vinyl just just from a distance it could look like it doesn't have holes and then also right here it's a little square right here the vinyl um i'm loving it guys i'm really loving it can't wait to go lower i'm just i'm just waiting for these tires to pretty much waste so i can get 165 50s all the way around and then that won't be rubbing at all I'll be slammed to the ground let me know if you guys are liking the way the truck looks if you guys have not followed my Instagram guys I'm very active on there please follow the Instagram page guys you know subscribe for more videos guys give me likes that really like motivates me to keep going it's just that sometimes I'm just like you know, like, what's the point of me posting the videos and stuff? Nobody really enjoys the content. Even though I really enjoy, like, doing videos on this truck, how-tos and whatnot. <clears throat> what else was I thinking about doing? And then, uh, I added this little diesel-only sticker. Little three-pack of, for like, seven bucks on Amazon. Um... That's it, guys. Wiper delete. <laughs> Thank you guys for clicking on the video. I appreciate you guys. For those of you that really love the content and really love caddies, MK1s, you know, just Volkswagen in general. Volkswagens are beautiful cars, um, especially the old ones. Give me a like, give me a subscription, comment. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the truck and how it's going so far. Let me know what I should do to it. And if you guys can help me about uh, with that temperature gauge, let me know what I should move around or what to plug in and whatnot. I appreciate you guys. Catch you guys on the next one. Just wanted to show you guys the cup holder in action. So I went to go buy a soda Thanks for the video. Here's the soda. soda staying right there okay good holder works guys that's it